What's up, family? What's up? What's up? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Want to come at y'all now about Super Bowl 54. I hope I think I forget y'all. Of course, I forget y'all. We got the San Francisco 49ers against the Kansas City Chiefs. Jimmy G versus the video game and Patrick Mahomes. These are my concerns. The Chiefs a lot of times get themselves behind and down in distance where they get a lot of third and longs. And they're the best offense in the league. You have a lot of strength versus strength. They're the best offense in the league where converting those third and longs, third and seven, eight or more. But then you got the San Francisco 49ers who are the best defensively in shutting down third and longs. Why? They have a stout secondary led by Richard Sherman. They don't give up big plays. And they got a pass rush filled with a bunch of guys, former <laughs> first round picks, that can get after the quarterback. Now, those of y'all, my true, true followers, know I told y'all last year that I loved the San Francisco 49er defense. I told y'all they were edge rusher away. One year away, all they needed was an edge rusher before being a great defense. They go out to get D Ford from Kansas City. And they draft young Nick Bosa. He's the guy that, to me, can fuck up all of Kansas City's plans. I know Kansas City has Eric Fisher, former high draft pick at left tackle. I believe the right tackle name is Schwartz. Both have been to Pro Bowls. Very good lineman. They got their work cut out for them. Not only that third down issue is the fact that the Chiefs don't run the football much. And because they don't run the football, that's a clear indicator for the defense to pin their ears back and just go after the quarterback. I don't think you can do that with a defense like this that has four, five guys that all can get after the quarterback so damn well, so damn easily. Yes, you have a good offensive line, but no offensive line wants to block pass block against these guys 60 70 plays nobody wants to do I want to see what Andy Reid's gonna do to try to try to like slow down that pass rush what kind of screens are they gonna run I expect a lot of jet sweeps something to make it look like a running game to slow down that pass rush I'm gonna see I expect to see a lot of quick three-step drops to get the ball out of Mahomes' hands quick. Things that can move the offense quickly. Because I don't think they don't want to go down two scores in this game. Not with the way San Fran runs the football. I think Nick Bosa in this game can do what Von Miller did. Where he can get multiple sacks. Where he can get a turnover. Take the turnover and score a touchdown. I think Nick Bosa could be that guy. I don't care if he's a rookie. Brother has, what, 50-something quarterback pressures this year? I don't care if he's a rookie. He was the best pass rusher in the draft last year. All due respect to um, Josh Allen, he was the best, and he showed it this year. So I don't care how many years he's been in the league. I know what my eyes are saying. That kid is a problem. That whole Bosa family, his brother, Joey, going after quarterbacks is what they do. That's what they do. <laughs> so, these are my major concerns for the Chiefs. My major concerns, see the ghetto bird helicopters. My major concerns for the 49ers is, I expect them to be able to run the football because Kyle Shanahan is so creative when it comes to running the football. Like I told y'all, y'all hear about great offensive minds when it comes in the passing game, about scheming guys open. What he is amazing at is scheming in a running game where he's able to create lanes. He's able to create lanes in a running game better than any other, and any one of the offensive mind in the league. That's why the running backs are so interchangeable in this offense. Doesn't matter. Anybody can run through these lanes. The Chiefs defense got their hands cut out, got their hands full, and shutting down this running game, limiting this running game, 
and putting the ball in Jimmy G's hands. My concern is San Fran don't want the ball in Jimmy G's hands. Yes, he's had games in the regular season where he shined. He's had games in the regular season where he shined. Can't doubt that. And he seems like he has some of that Tom Brady in him where he could be that clutch guy. He could be that good third down guy. That Minnesota game, he looked shaky. Those are three passes that should have been intercepted. There was only one. Should have been three. And then against Green Bay, they steamrolled Green Bay so badly. They didn't even need to use Jimmy G because they only threw the ball seven, eight times. It's not going to happen this way in this game. Patrick Mahomes has yet to have a bad game in his career. The closest thing you can say to a bad game is the game they played early this year against Indianapolis. Indianapolis was able to play a lot of off coverage, force him to go the length of the field, and he was able to pressure the quarterback. With, um, that, that was basically the closest thing you could say to a bad game, and he still threw for 300 yards, and they weren't empty calorie yards either. That's the closest you could put to it. Patrick Mahomes is something different, and I think in this game, you have a you have the San Francisco 49ers that is the better team, is the better roster. But it's going to come a point in this game where it's going to come down to the quarterbacks. It's going to come down to the quarterbacks. I expect San Francisco to, they play a lot of off coverage, a lot of cover three. I think they're going to play off, like I told you these last few weeks, against KC because they have so much speed, play off, force them to check it down. So they go the length of the field. They don't want to give up big plays. And San Fran's defense is the best at not giving up big plays. They can play off coverage because their pass rush is so good. That pass rush still forces you to get rid of the football. I think Andy Reid's going to do little things to force them to get rid of the football quickly. The thing is, KC's guys can take it six yards and go 60. That's one thing. So they're going to force little things like that. But I just think Patrick Mahomes is too special. I think he can make any throw you can think of and a few throws you didn't even think of. I think it's going to come down to it where it's going to be between the both quarterbacks. And I trust Mahomes. My faith is in Mahomes. My faith ain't in Triple G, uh, Jimmy G. My faith is in Patrick, the video game, Mahomes. You heard me. I said it. It's your boy, Urban Schwartz Guru. I'm taking the Chiefs. I'm rolling with the Chiefs. I'm rolling with Mahomes. That's my take. Let me know what you think. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you hit the subscribe. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.